Hi there and welcome to the final stage of getting started. Um, well done for getting to this point. Hopefully by now you have configured and customized your database um, as a good foundation for getting set up. Then you should have brought in some of your history into the system of what has been done in the past. And now's the time to look forward and think about bringing data in to your system um, using the integrations that we have here at Donify. A reminder of where you need more help is our online community. Um, so Donify chat, our Facebook group, do head over there to ask questions about how people use the integrations. Our knowledge base and YouTube channels have uh, previous deep dives and also um, individual videos around how to set up each of the integrations and frequently ask questions about the integrations as well. Um, if you get stuck with anything um, in terms of technical issues with setting up the integration, then our support team are on hand as well. And if you do want some extra support around things with setting up the integration, then our onboarding service or partners can also help as well. So now you have your history in, let's get your new data in. So what are the integrations? So obviously um, we're building new integrations all of the time. So at the time this video is made, there were the integrations available, but do see our website for our latest list of integrations. So there are ones that are built by Donify and ones that work with Donify. So these are the ones that we've built into the system, but also there are ones that work with Donify as well. Some are one way, some are two way. So for example, Eventbrite just giving is a one way feed. So data will just come from those platforms into Donify. Whereas MailChimp, for example, is a two way integration. So you can add people to your mailing list from Donify and also see who's opened your mailings with data feeding through from MailChimp into Donify as well. So it just depends on the um, integration. Some are easier to set up than others. So for example, um, with the Xero integration, sometimes people want a bit of extra support and we have a partner who can help with that if you do need some, some extra um, expert help on setting up the Xero integration. But something like Stripe is just easy to set up. You just need your login details to Stripe to be able to set that up. So it just depends on the integration. Most integrations work from the point of integration, but some also bring over a history. And if you search the knowledge base for each of the integrations, you'll be able to see um, how much is brought over. So for example, um, MailChimp works from the point of integration. So any new data that gets added to MailChimp will, will come through. Just giving brings over some history of pages and donations. So that can be really helpful um, when, when setting up because some of your data will come through as part of the integration. So with the wonders of automation, um, it sometimes does bring duplicates. So obviously it's saving you a lot of time when it comes to not having to manually input data, but sometimes people will put um, their email address slightly differently on one system to the next, for example. Donify will always try and match it to an existing record, but sometimes um, duplicates do occur. And luckily the duplicate checker is here to help. So you can head over to data management and duplicates on a regular basis and just identify any duplicates that you might want to look for. Um, they're all scored based on, on how closely a match it is and then you can merge them or mark them as not duplicates as well. When you're thinking about which areas should you integrate, so I'm not going to go through setting up each specific integration. We, I'd really recommend going to the knowledge base and also on our YouTube channel to be able to see how things are set up. But I just want to talk through the different areas that you might want to set up when you're thinking about integration. So website. Um, Donify forms are the simplest way to integrate with your website and also marketing. You can put tracking codes on them as well for data through from Facebook. And if you're using Facebook ads or Google ads, you can put tracking codes on your forms. Emails. So find your send to Donify email address using the manage your profile. And then that's your send to Donify email address. So that means if you send an email and blind copy that email, um, from whatever email system you're using, whether it's Gmail, Outlook or something else, then that will make a copy in Donify. You can also send emails from Donify. You just need to go to settings, configuration, um, type in your email setting, server settings, and you'll be able to configure that as well. Marketing emails, so whether you're using MailChimp or something else, these are areas for integration your payment or fundraising platform. So at the time of making this video, we're integrating with Facebook, Just Giving and Virgin Money Giving. 
Um, so these are all places where you can get data from those systems. You've probably spent a lot of time configuring, thinking about all of your, your settings, so where, where data is going. Um, this is a good time to think about that when you're setting up each of the integrations to think about where exactly you want that data to go in Donify. Gift aid, so just head to, so on the professional version of Donify, you've got the automated gift aid, repro gift aid processing. So head over to gift aid and settings to set up your HMRC with your HMRC login to be able to start reclaiming gift aid automatically. The financial, so accounts download or direct. So we've got accounts download templates for certain account systems or with Xero, we've got the direct integration where data just gets st sent straight over. So um, sometimes there is a little bit of work around this. You'll have hopefully done a lot of your mapping for your accounting codes as well. Um, so it's just making sure that those are set up properly when you set up your Xero integration. Reporting, so if you want to use any data visualization tools or regularly um, push data out into Excel, then you can use the O data feed. So that's another type of integration. Events, so we've got the integration with Eventbrite. Um, you can use that to integrate and bring events data into Donify. Data quality, so um, locate is a really handy tool for accurate ad address capture, which can be used within your Donify forms, but also within Donify itself. So there are some other sort of integrations that can be used to help with that. Custom integrations. So you can also build custom integrations with Donify via the API. Um, these are obviously the standard ones that you can set up, but have a think about if there is anything else that you're using. Some frequently asked questions. So um, how much history will be brought in? I'd really recommend going to the knowledge base and searching for the individual items on the different integrations and looking at the FAQs for all of them. They, it will say um, the history for each of them. If you get stuck, please do get in touch with the team. Um, head over to Donify Chat or our YouTube channel. Um, or if you need some additional help from an expert then get in touch with the onboarding team um, or, or a partner as well. Will you be charged for the integrations for using the integrations? So we don't charge you anything um, for making use of the integrations. Obviously, each platform has their own sort of charging structure. Some of them do require you to have a certain um, subscription with them to be able to access their API to integrate with another system. Again, all the details for that should be on the knowledge base, but it's worth checking on each of their websites as well um, to see if you do need to be on a certain plan. Also with any of the payment providers, so Stripe, Go Cardless, PayPal, whatever else is, is there at the time, we don't charge anything when um, on top of those platforms uh, in terms of transaction fees for take, taking payments via a Donify form. If you use a platform that isn't on the list, remember that you can always upload and download data via the file uploader. So that can be a really helpful tool for regularly importing data into Donify. Another couple of areas, so we always want to take on feedback, so you can request new features. Um, we develop new features based on if um, it's a popular feature that lots of people use, also whether that system has an API, so something that we can actually create the integration with. So yeah, do head to those places if, if you're using it, but remember in the meantime that you can always download and upload data via the file uploader. Amazing. So we're at the end of our journey for getting started. Um, so you've set up and configured. You've got a really good basis to start with. You've got your history in. Um, go ahead and set up all those integrations that you want to start getting your data into Donify. Um, really excited that you've got to this stage and well done on all your hard work so far. Thanks again for choosing Donify and best of luck with your next steps.